Hey guys, in today's episode, in case you haven't heard, Doug White is relaunching Jet City Amplification again. So I pulled out two of my Jet Cities just to try them out. Stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres. And if you haven't heard over the last few months, uh, apparently these rumors of Jet City Amplification making a comeback are true. And I know that because I was talking to Doug White this morning. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make a video with my two uh, Jet City amps because I feel like and I guess, I guess I was one of them also where I just didn't know much about them. Um, it was one of those things where it was just like, you know, they look like great amps. Uh, they're not made in the U S but are there any complaints? And there weren't, they eventually ended up changing the Tolex to like a blue Tolex. That's kind of where I was just like, ah, maybe I won't, you know, buy one of them, uh, just because I didn't like the blue Tolex that it had. But then this guy came up on the market locally uh, and this one actually has, it's a modded, uh, Jet City, and this one includes the SLO mod along with the negative feedback, and those are in the back. So, uh, and then this one down here is my buddy Chad from Michigan. He was looking to switch things around as far as gears go, as far as his gear goes, and he just asked me like, hey, do you want this, um this head and arch it started out that he wanted to know if I knew anyone that was interested in it. Uh, and then I was just like, dude, I'll get it. I'll buy it from you, uh, and love it. So the two differences is that, uh, this one is made by Mike Saldano and this one is made by who mm, I forgot the guy's name, Nick, um, Nick. Uh, so this one is more, I guess, of a, of an, of an American tone, uh, that's just a little more brutal. Do I dare say that? And this one is more of a British feel, but I'm actually running my Fortin, my new Fortin, actually my new Maxon Fortin modded, uh, overdrive, which is the OD nine variant. And they both sound absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to be using my 1991 ESP M2 custom. This one actually has the uh, Seymour Duncan Nazgul in the bridge. And uh, let's have a listen. I'm going to start off with the Mike Saldano uh, designed version of the Jet City. And then it's going to be, then I'm going to move over to the bottom one. So let's have a listen. Do, 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 do.
What's up guys? So there you have it. That was the Mike Soldano designed Jet City head. Uh, and this one, I know someone's gonna sit back and say, hey, Dingbat, you actually have the mod in the back. Uh, I actually had, there's two dials and I dialed them down to zero. Because I'm gonna be comparing it against this one, I actually wanted the top version to sound uh, exactly the way it does um, just stock. So uh, again, the two dials in the back uh, were set to zero. So what you really heard was the amp, but again, keep in mind that it is powered by my Maxon Fortin OD9 uh, overdrive pedal that just got just came in the mail the other day. Uh, and it sounds brutal with it. Um, it sounds great with any overdrive that I that I actually put this against. So now we're gonna go with this one. And I know I kept saying Nick, right? But it's actually Kid. I forgot the guy's first name, but I know it's Kid because there's a basketball player named Jason Kid. Um, so this one, same thing. Uh, I just have my Maxon Fortin OD9 uh, plugged into it. And hopefully you guys can hear what that sounds like. And then keep in mind, they're both 20 watt amps. So, you know, they're great for playing at home. Um, if you're powering the, if you're powering a 412 cabinet, the tw these will absolutely sound incredible. It's super loud. Um, if you're gonna go and play live, eh, um, I would probably go as far as to say that you can go ahead and anticipate that there won't be much sound hitting everyone in the front. Uh, but of course the front of house engineer will go ahead and mic up uh, one of your ca uh, one of your speakers and it'll just go through the house's PA system. So it'll sound great. It's just not gonna be boomy uh, to those that are in front. Some guys want that. Some will actually use something like a captor, um, like a two notes captor that way they can have a 412 hitting them in the front and then they just send the signal to the front of house and uh, and it just runs that way instead of using a mic. So, uh, all right, let's just have a listen and um, hopefully you will like the kid version. So guys, there you have it. These two, I am super glad I actually have uh, because, you know, again, I always, I never just, I just never knew how good Jet City amps were uh, until this one landed on my lap and then this one followed soon after. Uh, and then the great thing is the fact that the owner, Doug White, um, actually has a relaunch of these amps uh, and you can go to their website, which is uh, jetcitycustom.com. And here's the best part is that unlike the old models where you basically bought whatever was available and that's it, you can actually customize it now. So you can have uh, different tubes in there. You can have uh, different components on the inside. You can have it. So it's a white Tolex with a black 
um, chassis, you can have it reverse. So it's white with a uh, black with a white chassis. So there's a few options that are on there and I think they're great. Uh, and again, I can't stress that if it weren't for the fact that I own these two, I'd be up in the air. I wouldn't know, you know, if they were good or not. Um, but these are literally some of my favorite amps that I've ever had. Um, and I don't know, I think, you know, they're 20 Watts, but they don't sound it, which is crazy. Um, and if I, you know, crank it to half power, um, and bring the volume to five, like, dude, it's, it's definitely way too loud. So, you know, for the most part, when I'm recording, I try to keep it between 65 and 70 dB. Um, these heads at five are already at about 85 dB. So it's loud. Like I'm telling you that if you were to play a small venue, uh, you wouldn't need anything other than one of these amps uh, or better yet, uh, one of the newer amps that Doug is making. So uh, I will, in the description, leave the link to Jet City's new website. Check that out. Uh, they actually are doing a pre-order now uh, for those amps. They start at $4.99 and they are going to, you know, depending on the modification, they go higher than that, you know, o over 700, close to 800. Um, but they started $4.99, uh, free shipping. And dude, like legit, if you ever wondered if a like, Jet City is good, it is great. It's not even good. It's great. So again, I'll put a description in the link. You know, to me, I just feel like they haven't been a while, uh, around for a while and they kind of came and then went. And I'm excited that here are these inexpensive amps that are crushing, like ridiculous, crushing, crushing, crushing. Uh, and you know what? It's not a $3,500 amplifier. Um, you know, some companies, they're selling 30 watt amps for three thousand dollars i think that's just ridiculous and it's mind-blowing it's it's at a level where i just don't know how it even got there um where a 30 watt amp is almost three grand um so yeah it's crazy but for 4.99 you can get one of these guys and legit you're gonna absolutely love it so guys if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button thank you so much for watching and as usual i'll talk to you guys soon actually you know what you you like the new angle so this is how i'm going to start demoing amps maybe um is just having it here i literally have two horses and a guitar case in case you're wondering what i have it on ta-da guys thanks i hope you're laughing and thank you so much and i'll talk to you guys soon